Hi, this is the budget page. This is where you will plan your budget. It's mostly pretty simple what happens on this page. I'm not going to spend too much time discussing the actual entries. They are what they say they are. But I just want to emphasize the kind of theme of the page, which is that most of the the items within each entry, that is sales, other income, seeds, fertilizers, agrochemicals, etc. most of the items within that will actually populate automatically from elsewhere as you do your work around e-agronom, and then you'll put the price in on this page. So I'll get into a little bit more detail. Again, not going to go over every single one because they are the, what they say they are, but that as a theme I think is worth emphasizing. To start, um, we have two functions up here. This is the season function. Once again, if you change this here, it'll change it throughout. XLS gives me a spreadsheet of everything that's on this page. This top box here gives me a basic idea of how I'm doing. These little orange triangles, that just means that the system is reminding me that I haven't put something in yet. Overview of total costs gives a percentage of what how you're spending your money for this season. If I hover over each of these items, I can see the dollar amount. Here, sales price minus production cost is exactly that. This is a prognosis for how much I expect to make per ton of crop that I'm growing this season based on the price and the, uh, the based on the sales and the input costs. This gives me an idea of how I'm doing there. As I say, these um, are, are what they say they are. I just want to emphasize how they uh, get filled in. So if I go into sales here, this these are automatic. This just puts in, I've indicated in my crops page, this is what I want to grow. The area, the yield, this comes from the planned yield section of the crops page. That all gets, gets in automatic. I put in in the budget page this expected sales price, and then the calculations just happen. The system just does them for me. So this is the only thing that I actually change here is this expected sales price. I go back, I can, uh, I'll note the same thing for these seeds, fertilizers, and agrochemicals. If we go into fertilizers, for example, um, I can see that I have this, these some fertilizers that I've selected tasks for, the planned quantity of those tasks. The only thing I put in here is the price, and then the system gives me the calculation. Quick note on these three, fertilizers, seeds, and agrochemicals, these, these three here. Um, those items that you saw in the fertilizers, I can click on any of them, if I click on agrochemicals, these come from the tasks, they don't come from the inventory. I just want to make sure that's clear because that can, uh, it might you might assume that they come when you make an, a transaction in your inventory, that that'll show up here in the budget. That's not how it works in the agronom. In the agronom, when you set a task, that, that is the expense of the material and not just the purchase of the material is what enters into the budget. I just want to make sure that that's clear. Um, finally, there's some other fine, just quick things to mention. For example, these labor, um, machine repairs, ma property repairs, machinery depreciation, property depreciation, loan interest costs. Those all, for example, come from back here. If you go into settings, these four employees, machines and properties, loans and manures, when you put, when you insert your employees, your machines and their depreciation costs, any loans, etc. That's where those items arrive into the budget. And then the only thing that you actually put, if we click on, for example, labor, the only thing that you actually put here is how much you expect to pay each of the, the employees, but the employees come to the budget from the employees page, which is back there, just uh, what I just showed. Um, I hope that should be clear. As I say, the theme is to try and keep you from doing too much data entry. So a lot of this stuff just arrives automatically and generally in the budget page, what you are, are entering manually is the actual dollar cost.